with the trade deadline coming up you're going to start seeing some videos that aren't necessarily about the new york rangers and we're going to start off with tomas hurdle signing an eight year eight million dollar extension to stay in san jose with the sharks i just wanted to talk about it because in my eyes kind of confusing i don't know what san jose is doing does tomas hurdle deserve eight by eight yeah sure but San Jose should not be the team that's giving him 8x8. Eight eight. They're not making the playoffs this year. They are not good at all this year. They haven't made the playoffs since the 18-19 season. And quite frankly, in my opinion, they have not been a legitimate contender since their Stanley Cup final appearance in the 15-16 season. They were in the Western Conference Final in 1819. They did lose to the St. Louis Blues, eventual Stanley Cup champions, but they were never really a big threat to me, even when they were in the Western Conference Finals that year. But anyway, we have seen some big guys leave that team. Joe Thornton, Joe Pavelski, Patrick Marlowe. Heck, they even bought out one of their better goalies in the last decade, Martin Jones. They bought him out. And the only reason why I'm questioning Hurdle's contract is because look at all the other contracts on that team. Logan Couture is 32 years old. He's still a very solid centerman. But six years at $8 million a season, that contract does not look like it's going to age well. Eric Carlson, who's 31 years old, most likely playing his best season for the San Jose Sharks this year. But six more years at $11.5 million for him as well. In my opinion, that's an overpay from the start. Brent Burns is 37. He's got four more years left on his deal. That'll take him to 41 at $8 million a season. And Mark Edward Vlasic, five years for $7 million a season. And Vlasic is 34 years old. In my opinion, it's not going to end well for the Sharks. They are not a good hockey team. They really, in my opinion, have no prospects to really build this team. They don't have too much depth. You know, you got Nick Benino playing the bottom six, but, I mean, he's not the Nick Benino from years ago. And in that Pacific division, you got teams like Calgary and see how they're built. You got teams like Vegas, even though they are uh, not in the playoff picture right now. You see how they're built. And I don't see San Jose anywhere near what those teams are. Edmonton, you can even throw in there. Um, yeah, I don't. I think they need a rebuild. And with them locking up Tomas Hurdle. They missed their chance at getting a lot of good prospects and possible draft picks from teams, from playoff contention teams. Um, yeah, I, in my opinion, I don't know what San Jose's doing. I don't think they're going to be able to contend for the next few years. Um, that Pacific Division looks so good. Uh, one of the best divisions in the NHL, in my opinion. I think it might be the best next to the Metropolitan Division. Um, yeah, there's just no depth, no prospect pool. That's really what I just really wanted to talk about that today. Um, because in my opinion, it kind of, it's very confusing. Um, I think everyone really sees San Jose as kind of a bottom feeder team. Um, no pun intended, Sharks. But, um, let me know what you guys think about San Jose Sharks moving forward. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, please remember to leave a like. We will have more videos coming out this week. Today, even, we'll have some more videos. So I do appreciate your help. Leave a like if you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys later.